Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts as we are about to receive. Through thy bounty, through Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hmm. All right, honey, will you uh, pass uh, Mr. Monk's bowl? All right. Oh, thank you. Well, oh, personally, I've never been across the sea. No. By longboat we came. Three dozen men pulling at the oars. The rain so heavy. Some drowned in their seats. Jeez. First in forest, then on grassland. A man's hair grew long. He rode a horse without saddle or reins, and the people of the plains were his people. But then came the cannon and the musket, and he was alone once more. For a century, he spoke to no one. Hmm. I don't know if I could go an hour without talking. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy does sales. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy likes talking. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You ever drive a Kia, Mr. Munk? It's like flying a cloud. I think we should see how your biscuits turned out, huh? Before the boat, the man lived on the moors and ate fleas from the rats. He was frightened all the time. Then one day, a man comes on a wealthy horse and offers him two coins and a meal. But the food was not food. What was it? It was sin. The sins of the rich. Greed, envy, disgust. They were bitter. The sins. But he ate them all, for he was starving. From then on, the man does not sleep or grow old. He cannot die. He has no dreams. All that is left is sin. It feels like that. I know. What they do to us. Make us swallow. Like it's our fault. But you want to know the cure? You gotta eat something made with love and joy. And be forgiven. Mm -hmm.